This is your story. A series of stories from Bethel's family. And it's your story in quotes because really it's God's story at work in your life. If you have a story to share, know someone who does, please share it with us. We'd love to feature it and encourage other people in Jesus. Today's story is from Juan Lajera. Juan and his wife Sandy have been part of Bethel for about 20 years. Juan works for Jewel. He's worked for Jewel for about 38 years. It's actually where he and Sandy met. He says he's kind of like the sixth man. He runs the grocery or the dairy or the receiving department in somebody's absence. And actually, he was getting very close to retirement. But then COVID hit and he decided he needed to stay on through this uh, whole pandemic. And we're thankful for uh, his uh, work in the grocery store. He says uh, this is his story and the challenges that he's faced during COVID. One of the people that he mentions who uh, had gotten sick, uh, he says, did recover and has been back to work now uh, after being out for about three weeks. So praise God for that. This is Juan's story. I mean, God's story at work in Juan's life. Hi, Pastor. I hope that you and your family and everyone at church are doing well during these trying times. As you can imagine, grocery stores have been very busy the last couple of months, which is unusual because this is usually our slow part of the year. Personally, it's uh, kind of weird. I, I live between two worlds. On the one hand, nothing's changed. I still go to work every single day. And so I don't feel that stir crazy, cooped up feeling that a lot of people have. But on the other hand, everything has changed. I have to sign off on a uh, health questionnaire when I start work. And I also have to wear a mask and gloves uh, all day because I encountered dozens and dozens of people during the day. I guess my biggest concern is, uh, like everybody else who is still working, is bringing it home. So I have a new routine that I have to follow every day. When I come home, I kick off my shoes in the garage and I, and I go and throw my clothes in the washing machine right away. And then I take a shower and then after I get dressed, I take a uh, sanitizing wipe and I wipe down everything that I've touched coming into the, to, into the house and hopefully that's enough. As far as my co-workers, I'm on a uh, Jewel Osco Facebook page and when you read the comments, you see that there's a lot of anxiety and uh, frustration, uh, even some anger. Mm -hmm. Uh, even though Jewel's allowing us to take leave of absences, uh, when you read the comments, uh, a lot of people can't do that. So many people live uh, paycheck to paycheck that uh, that's not a, an option for them. Closer to home, at our store, we have a couple of people who have COVID and a few people have taken leave of absences um, because they just don't want to deal with it. If I could put a prayer request in, it would be for those uh, co-workers suffering from COVID that they would recover healthfully. And also for the uh, people who are suffering with the anxiety and the stress that this situation has brought upon them. And also for the millions of people who have lost their jobs. Uh, hopefully that we can come through this and come out a better and stronger country. Until then, take care and stay safe.